Good morning. I'm Lee Jamison, and this is the 80th installment of the Bible in a year. Today we're improvising a little on technology because my computer, bless its little heart, has been trying to load an update of Windows forever and ever and ever. So we're going with a mobile device. You will have a smaller image to download. Today's readings will be in Joshua chapters 7 through 9 and in Matthew chapter 26 verses 51 through 75. Israel defeated at Ai. But the people of Israel broke faith in regard to the devoted things. For Achan, the son of Carmi, son of Zabdi, son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took some of the devoted things. And the anger of the Lord burned against the people of Israel. Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is near beth Avon, east of Bethel, and said to them, Go up, and spy out the land. And the men went up and spied out I, and they returned to Joshua and said to him, Do not have all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and attack I. Do not make the whole people toil up there, for they are few. So about three thousand men went up there from the people, and they fled before the men of I. And the men of Ai killed about thirty-six of their men and chased them before the gates as far as Shebarim and struck them at the descent. And the hearts of the people melted and became as water. Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell on the earth on his face before the ark of the Lord until evening. He and the elders of Israel and they put dust on their heads, and Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, why have you brought this people over the Jordan at all to give us into the hands of the Amorites and destroy us? Would that we had been content to dwell beyond the Jordan. O Lord, what can I say when Israel has turned their backs before the enemy? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land will hear of it and will surround us and cut off our name from the earth. And what will you do for your great name? The Sin of Achan The Lord said to Joshua, Get up! Why have you fallen on your face? Israel is sinned. They have transgressed my covenant that I commanded them. They have taken some of the devoted things. They have stolen and lied and put them among their own belongings. Therefore the people of Israel cannot stand before their enemies. They turn their backs before their enemies, because they have become devoted to destruction. I will be with you no more, unless you destroy the devoted things among you. Get up, consecrate the people, and say, Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, there are devoted things in your midst, O Israel. You cannot stand before your enemies until you take away the devoted things from among you. In the morning, therefore, you shall be brought near by your tribes, and the tribe that the Lord takes by lot shall come near by clans, and the clan that the Lord takes shall come near by households. And the household that the Lord takes shall come near man by man. And he who is taken with the devoted things shall be burned with fire, he and all that he has, because he has transgressed the covenant of the Lord, and because he has done an outrageous thing in Israel. So Joshua rose early in the morning and brought Israel near tribe by tribe, and the tribe of Judah was taken. And he brought near the clans of Judah, and the clan of the Zerahites was taken. 
And he brought near the clan of the Zerahites man by man, and Zabdi was taken. And he brought near his household man by man, and Akan, the son of Carmi, son of Zabdi, son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. Then Joshua said to Akan, My son, give glory to the Lord God of Israel, and give praise to him, and tell me now what you have done. Do not hide it from me. And Akan answered Joshua, Truly I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and this is what I did. When I saw among the spoil a beautiful cloak of Sh from Shinar, and two hundred shekels of silver, and a bar of gold weighing fifty shekels, then I coveted them and took them, and see they are hidden in the earth inside my tent, with the silver underneath. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran to the tent, and behold, it was hidden in his tent, with the silver underneath. And they took them out of the tent, and brought them to Joshua, and to all the people of Israel. And they laid them down before the Lord, and Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan the son of Zerah, and the silver, and the cloak, and the bar of gold, and his sons, and daughters, and his oxen, and donkeys, and sheep, and his tent, and all that he had. And they brought them up to the valley of Achor, and Joshua said, Why did you bring trouble on us? The Lord brings trouble on you today. And all Israel stoned him with stones. They burned them with fire and stoned them with stones. And they raised over him a great heap of stones that remains to this day. Then the Lord turned from his burning anger. Therefore to this day the name of that place is called the Valley of Achor. The Fall of Ai And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear, and do not be dismayed. Take all the fighting men with you and rise. Go up to Ai, see, I have given into your hand the king of Ai, and his people, and his city, and his land. And you shall do to Ai, and its king, as you did to Jericho and its king. Only its spoil and its livestock you shall take as plunder for yourselves. Lay an ambush against the city behind it. So Joshua and all the fighting men rose up to go to Ai. And Joshua chose thirty thousand mighty men of valor and sent them out by night. And he commanded them, Behold! You shall lie in ambush against the city behind it. Do not go very far from the city, but all of you remain ready. And I and all the people who are with me will approach the city. And when they come out against us, just as before, we shall flee before them. And they will come out after us until we have drawn them away from the city. For they will say, They are fleeing from us just as before. So we will flee before them. Then you shall rise up from the ambush and seize the city, for the Lord your God will give it into your hand. And as soon as you have taken the city, you shall set the city on fire. You shall do according to the word of the Lord. See, I have commanded you. So Joshua sent them out. And they went to the place of ambush and lay between Bethel and Ai, to the west of Ai, but Joshua spent that night among the people. Joshua arose early in the morning and mustered the people and went up, he and the elders of Israel, before the people of Ai. And all the fighting men who were with him went up and drew near before the city and encamped on the north side of Ai with a ravine between them and Ai. He took about five thousand men and set them in ambush between Bethel and Ai to the west of the city. So they stationed the forces, the main encampment that was north of the city and its rear guard west of the city. But Joshua spent that night in the valley 
And as soon as the king of Ai saw this, he and all his people, the men of the city, hurried and went out early to the appointed place toward the Arabah to meet Israel in battle. But he did not know that there was an ambush against him behind the city. And Joshua and all Israel pretended to be beaten before them and fled in the direction of the wilderness. So all the people who were in the city were called together to pursue them. And as they pursued Joshua, they were drawn away from the city. Not a man was left in Ai or Bethel who did not go out after Israel. They left the city open and pursued Israel. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Stretch out the javelin that is in your hand toward Ai, for I will give it into your hand. And Joshua stretched out the javelin that was in his hand toward the city. And the men in ambush rose quickly out of their place. And as soon as he had stretched out his hand, they ran and entered the city and captured it. And they hurried to set the city on fire. So when the men of Ai looked back, behold, the smoke of the city went up to heaven, and they had no power to flee this way or that. For the people who fled to the wilderness turned back against the pursuers. And when Joshua and all Israel saw that the ambush had captured the city, and that the smoke of the city went up, then they turned back and struck down the men of Ai. And the others came out of the city against them. So they were in the midst of Israel, some on this side and some on that side. And Israel struck them down, until there was left none that survived or escaped. The king of Ai they took alive and brought him near to Joshua. When Israel had finished killing all the inhabitants of Ai in the open wilderness where they pursued them, and all of them to the very last had fallen by the edge of the sword, all Israel returned to Ai and struck it down with the edge of the sword. And all who fell that day, both men and women, were twelve thousand, all the people of Ai. But Joshua did not draw back his hand, with which he stretched out the javelin, until he had devoted all the inhabitants of Ai to destruction. Only the livestock and the spoil of that city Israel took as their plunder according to the word of the Lord that he commanded Joshua. So Joshua burned Ai and made it forever a heap of ruins, as it is to this day. And he hanged the king of Ai on a tree until evening. And at sunset Joshua commanded, and they took his body down from the tree and threw it at the entrance of the gate of the city and raised over it a great heap of stones which stands there to this day. Joshua renews the covenant. At that time, Joshua built an altar to the Lord, the God of Israel, on Mount Ebal, just as Moses, the servant of the Lord, had commanded the people of Israel, as it is written in the book of the law of Moses, an altar of uncut stones, upon which no man has wielded an iron tool. And they offered on it burnt offerings to the Lord and sacrificed peace offerings. And there, in the presence of the people of Israel, he wrote on the stones a copy of the law of Moses, which he had written. And all Israel, sojourner as well as native-born, with the elders and officers and their judges, stood on opposite sides of the ark before the Levitical priests, who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, half of them in front of Mount Gerizim, and half of them in front of Mount Ebal, just as Moses the servant of the Lord had commanded at the first to bless the people of Israel. And afterward he read all the words of the law, the blessing and the curse, according to all that is written in the book of the law. There was not a word of all that Moses commanded that Joshua did not read before all the assembly of Israel and the women and the little ones and the sojourners who lived among them. The Gibeonite Deception, Chapter 9 
As soon as all the kings who were beyond the Jordan, in the hill country, and in the lowlands, all along the coast of the great sea toward Lebanon, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites, heard of this, they gathered together as one to fight against Joshua and Israel. But when the inhabitants of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done to Jericho and to Ai, they on their part acted with cunning, and went and made ready provision, and took worn-out sacks for their donkeys, and wineskins, worn out and torn and mended, with worn-out patched sandals on their feet, and worn-out clothes, and all their provisions were dry and crumbly. And they went to Joshua in the camp at Gelgal, and said to him and to the men of Israel, We have come from a distant country, so now make a covenant with us. But the men of Israel said to the Hevites, Perhaps you live among us, then how can we make a covenant with you? They said to Joshua, We are your servants. And Joshua said to them, Who are you, and where do you come from? They said to him, From a very distant country your servants have come, because of the name of the Lord your God. For we have heard a report of him, and all that he did in Egypt, and all that he did to the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan, to Sihon the king of Heshbon, and to Og king of Bashan, who lived in Ashtaroth. So our elders and all the inhabitants of our country said to us, Take provisions in your hand for the country, and go to meet them, and say to them, We are your servants. Come now, make a covenant with us. Here is our bread. It was still warm when we took it from our houses as our food for the journey on the day we set out to come to you. But now, behold, it is dry and crumbly. These wineskins were new when we filled them, and behold, they have burst. And these garments and sandals of ours are worn out from the very long journey. So the men took some of their provisions, but did not ask counsel from the Lord. And Joshua made peace with them, and made a covenant with them to let them live. And the leaders of the congregation swore to them. At the end of three days, after they had made a covenant with them, they heard that they were their neighbors and that they lived among them. And the people of Israel set out and reached their cities on the third day. Now the cities were Gibeon, Chephirah, Beeroth, and kiriath Jerim. But the people of Israel did not attack them because the leaders of the congregation had sworn to them by the Lord, the God of Israel. Then all the congregation murmured against the leaders. But all the leaders said to all the congregation, We have sworn to them by the Lord, the God of Israel, and now we may not touch them. This we will do to them. Let them live, lest wrath be upon us because of the oath that we swore to them. And the leaders said to them, Let them live. So they became cutters of wood and drawers of water for all the congregation, just as the leaders had said of them. Joshua summoned them, and he said to them, Why did you deceive us, saying, We are very far from you, when you dwell among us? Now, therefore, you are cursed, and some of you shall never be anything but servants, cutters of wood, and drawers of water for the house of my God. They answered Joshua, Because it was told to your servants for a certainty that the Lord your God had commanded his servant Moses to give you all the land and to destroy all the inhabitants of the land from before you. So we feared greatly for our lives because of you and did this thing. And now, behold, We are in your hand. Whatever seems good and right in your sight to do to us, do it. So he did this to them, and delivered them out of the hand of the people of Israel. And they did not kill them. 
But Joshua made them that day cutters of wood and drawers of water for the congregation and for the altar of the Lord to this day in the place that he should choose. That concludes the reading in Joshua. Matthew 26, 50 through 75. We continue with the arrest of Jesus. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put back your sword into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? And how then should the scripture be fulfilled, that it must be so? At the hour Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber, with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me. But all this has taken place that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. Jesus before Caiaphas and the council. Then those who had seized Jesus led him up to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered. And Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest, and going inside, he sat with the guards to see the end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking false testimony against Jesus that they might put him to death but they found none. Though many false witnesses came forward, at last two came forward and said, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? But Jesus remained silent, and the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so, but I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated on the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has uttered blasphemy. What further witnesses do we need? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your judgment? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spit in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you Christ, who was it that struck you? Peter denies Jesus. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. And a servant girl came up to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before them all, saying, I, I do not know what you mean. And when he came out to the entrance, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you too are one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know the man, and immediately the rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the saying of Jesus, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. That concludes the reading in Matthew. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. To gain a wider audience for this series of videos, I ask a few favors of you. First, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also click on a bell icon 
and that will make sure that you receive notifications when new videos come out. Then, if you have comments or questions, uh, even if they're critical, I want to hear from them. Be civil, of course. Uh, the YouTube algorithm rewards videos that receive audience participation. So, uh, I appreciate your input. You are a part of this channel as well. Thank you, and have a blessed day.